Hi there. Many others like you have asked, if an unmarried couple has sex, are they married in God's eyes? Let's find out, shall we? You can discover this answer and more on GodQuestions.org. The Bible says that marriage happens when a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. It is the one flesh aspect of marriage that has led some people to assume that if an unmarried couple has sex, then they're married in God's eyes. Is it as simple as that? Or is there more to marriage than just the physical act of sex? We do not believe that the act of sex alone constitutes marriage. Here are three reasons for saying so. First, a reason based on logic. If it were true that premarital sex makes a couple married in God's eyes, then there would be no such thing as premarital sex. The instant an unmarried couple has sex, they would lose their premarital status, becoming each other's de facto spouse. The Bible's warnings against premarital sex, a type of fornication, would thus be rendered irrelevant. Premarital sex would instantly just become marital sex. To avoid immorality, couples are counseled in 1 Corinthians 7 2 to get married. But if sex equals marriage, then the counsel simply becomes to avoid immorality to have sex. And that's not what Paul was saying. A second reason that the act of sex alone does not constitute marriage is based on the meaning and significance of marriage. The biblical picture of marriage involves the union of a man and woman in every way possible, mentally, emotionally, morally, spiritually, economically, and yes, physically. Sex joins a man and woman physically, and to some extent emotionally, but there is no other union that results. To reduce marriage to the physical union of two people is disrespectful and ignores God's full design. Third, marriage requires commitment, and sex does not. In fact, sex cannot provide a sufficient basis for establishing an ongoing relationship. The movie Speed closes with two main characters, Jack and Annie, embracing. Jack tells Annie, I have to warn you, I've heard relationships based on intense experiences never work. To which Annie replies, Okay, we'll have to base it on sex then. Such dialogue is comically fictitious and only works in Hollywood. Committed relationships are grounded in the union of will and intellect and material resources. That's why cultures worldwide have developed accepted ways of formalizing the marital relationship to make it socially and legally binding. If an unmarried couple has sex, does that mean they are married? No. The idea is foreign to the Bible, in which premarital sex is considered the sin of fornication. Sexual intercourse may join physically for a moment, but that is quite different from God joining a couple as husband and wife. In conclusion, sex is an important aspect of marriage according to God's design of intertwining a man and a woman in a committed lifelong relationship. Sex between unmarried people, though it mimics the physical act of marriage, does not equal marriage. All right, that answers your question. If an unmarried couple has sex, are they married in God's eyes?